Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to Java programming session. In today's session, I'm going to talk about classes and objects. I do expect you have already seen my previous session in which I've talked how to create a simple hello world application in Java. This is our tutorial number two. I'm going to create a series of Java sessions in which I'll be going to ex explain each and different topics which are there in the Java. So let's start today's session in which we are going to concentrate on class and objects. We'll be seeing how we can create objects, we'll be seeing how to create classes in the same file and what is the difference or what is what is the default value which is given to an instance variables and what is the default value of variables and how to it and uh, what are the differences. So let's start straight over to the programming. As in my previous video, I've explained that in Java, anything you want to do, you have to create a main class a class okay so I have simply I want to print all those things all the processing so the main method is sitting in a class only okay it is already been explained so my the class which is having all the calling portion or the main method is named as main class here I am trying to create an another class called student so you can see that I have created another file how to do that now we don't know about packages so I'm just now default using the default package so right click it create select new and class it will ask the class name okay specify the class name I've already specified student so that class is created now as per your requirement specify the local variables that is ID and name okay so that is going to be private okay always remember a fundamental rule that is all the variables should be private and all the methods should be public okay uh, yes once we understand the access specifiers we'll talk about protected and all of the things for timing just understand that they all the instant variable you should try to go for private if you don't specify anything in java it will go for default avoid that thing that is my recommendation so anytime you create a class you specify the variables access specifier as private okay don't leave it as blank because in generally those who are C++ programmers they think that if you leave anything as a blank it is considered as a private but in Java if you leave the without any access specifier it will take the default access specifier that is an access specifier which is not being specified and its rights are different for timing you understand that thing that any variable you create in a class should have access specifier as private for the time being point of view so I've created the two variables ID and name I've specified a set method I've specified a display method okay for just uh, I'll show you what is this testing what it is doing okay system dot println whatever value ID is been set and that I'm just simply in ID and names value okay so that simple class if I want to use I have created a uh, student sobj stubj one equal to new student a new object will be created for ID and name okay so a new object is created and it will be allocated sorry it will be allocated ID and name uh, separately so I'm specifying the value that is the set value in the ID as one and name as Vinod Pillai and I'm telling him to display it similarly I can create in this way a simple reference okay this is not then C++ we simply specify that for those who are from the C++ in Java you can do something like this student stobj2 here you're not creating any objects you're just creating a reference okay for the object you have to again write it stobj2 new whenever you write new then only the memory is allocated then I'm calling a display I'm setting the value and display this display if you see that I'm not specified any values and I'm directly trying to display the value we'll see what is the difference if you directly call it like that way okay and I have created an employee class so for timing I just comment it and let's see what is the output so you can see that in this I have created as to stobj1 which I have set the value as 1 and Vinod will like and trying to display the so most expected is that as I do stobj set data, it will call the student class I just go here it will go call the student class it will call the set data so as I have told the stobj1 will get its own id and name that id id will get 1 and name will get the Vinod Pillai see you can see that the value will be transferred to tid and t name from the tid I am transferring to id and name here I have not specified whose id and whose name but who is calling this set data that is being called by stobj1 so that id means stobj1 is there if you know c++ you know understand what I am talking about so display simply will display the value so you can say that I am calling the display method who is calling stobj1 is calling 
so you come here so display comes and it says ID and name whose ID and name who has called the, uh, the display so it is stobj1 so stobj ones ID and name will be display whatever value you have specified so it is one and we know Pillai. same happens with student 2 but I am calling the student 2 display but you will remember that I have not set any values so we'll see what is the default values we given and uh, set data then I'm again setting the value and then finally I'm displaying it so let's try to run this program I just simply say so save it and I'll run it okay so you can see that I have run and it says initially 1 and we know that is student 1 then it says 0 and null so those who are from C++ you should know that in Java any instance variable is there it will be have a default value if you don't specify it so if it is an integer it will have 0 and if it is a string it will have null values so that is the fundamental rule you should know okay and the secondly I have specified the ID and name so it is then considered okay now the important point here is that I want to show you that the integer testing is a local variable I've said the default value is only given to the instance variable instance variable means those variable which are the part of class okay testing is not a part of class variable it is a variable declared inside the display so it is a local variable and if you try to display what is the value of in this method I have declared testing and I am saying system dot error printer and please testing it will give me an error because I have not initialized it so all the local variable if you want to display it before that you have to assign a default value according to Java this is not there in C++ so if you want to display testing you have to assign him some default value and then you try to display it is fine so this is what I want to show you okay if you try to display it without assigning default value it will show you an error so that is an unimportant question thing you should know that instance variable will have default values but local variables will not have default values okay now what about a class creating in the same file like in the, my previous uh, video I have explained that in a single file you can create n number of classes it is preferred that you create separate files according to me okay wherever you feel so that the same file should have the classes then only you do that okay scenarios if such exist then only please prefer that because try to avoid this because in this case what happens you're creating a class employee okay you can't specify public because according to my previous video I've told you that in a single file you can have multiple classes but only one class can have public and that you have already assigned to main class so this class can't have public express specifier if you try with public what happens is it will show you an error that the public type employee must be defined of its own file either you separate it from this file or else you remove the public access specifier so you can create this way employee class and here you can the same way you can create an object of it okay nothing is different in this it's same all same what we used to do in the like previous I've created an object and I've let's save it and let's try to run this program also so you can see it has been assigned the same way it is nothing having difference so I'm it is just the same program I'm having ID and name and it is having set and display method so this is the two things I want to show you so according to in today's video we have seen how to create the classes in the same file we have seen how to create an object and what is the differences of local variable and instance variable in the case of default values instance variables will have default values local variables you have to assign it otherwise you can't use it okay I hope so you have understood it these all things if you have still any queries okay you can ask me you can post questions to the comments okay and thank you and have a nice day